can't even remember what motivated me before BTS. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day for me because it's my first armyversary. Today is one year that I'm an army and I'm a K-pop fan in general and I'm so happy because being an army and being a healthy K-pop fan has changed my life for the better, of course. Why do I say healthy? Because like 10, 8 years ago I was super into K-pop. I've always been into J-Rock, J-Pop, but I just went to, into K-Pop and it just turned from a passion to an obsession to a sick obsession and I had to drop it completely. It wasn't because of the music or the fandom, I wasn't into any fandom, no fandom at all. I didn't even know the names of the members of the bands that I used to listen to. I wasn't really fine at the time. I was sick, it was unhealthy and it didn't give me joy so I had to drop it completely. Um, two years ago I really wanted to get back to that kind of music because I really liked that music. I was afraid that it would turn again into something unhealthy. I was really really terrified. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I had depression and depression has ups and downs, highs and lows, and when you are in a very dark moment, when depression hits you really hard, you just try to, to survive. I didn't want music, that's always been the most beautiful thing in my life. I have Fighter tattooed on my arm because of the song Fighter from Christina Aguilera and that song saved me when I was 14, 15 so I didn't want something so beautiful to become again something something bad for me, for my health so it took me a whole year to decide that I could try to this year um, I asked a friend of mine who is a great uh, K-pop fan to give me a list of uh, names of bands to an artist to just to try out and apart from that everyone was talking about BTS and especially Jimin from BTS so I was curious because I wanted to know what was so special about this band and what was so special about this guy I went on YouTube I searched BTS and Idol came out my first time ever with BTS was Idol. <laughs> it was quite a lot to take in because there's a lot of stuff going on. It was quite confusing for me at first. I didn't have the visual shock and I really liked the song but it was just confusing because there were seven guys and Idol has a really fast rhythm so I had to watch it a few times to get all the details. Uh, the first one that I noticed was Namjoon and I thought he's gorgeous. Then I noticed Jimin because of the, um, the shot of his face when he says you can stop me loving myself and I thought oh my god he's too beautiful, I can't watch him, I can't handle this much beauty. I, immediately after I, um, I noticed J-Hope, I thought oh he must be the funny one, he's cute, he's really cute and he has such a beautiful sunny smile. After that I wanted to see them live, of course, because I saw the one with uh, Jimmy Fallon. I watched it and I thought, oh my god, they are really good, how can they do all that stuff? How can they be so good? And I thought, okay, live up to their reputation because they are good in the studio version, but eh, they have to be good in live too. And I, I watched the interview because I wanted to know their names and we all know that the moment you want to know their names is the moment you are completely lost into their world. The interview was funny because everyone was introducing himself and J-Hope, of course, he made his usual introduction and I thought, I is different from all the others. I thought, okay, he must be the funny one. <laughs> And then it was Jimin turn and I thought, okay, this is Jimin. I thought, yeah, he's really pretty. But I didn't know why, why everyone was talking about Jimin. Then I watched um, a few other interviews and I thought, okay, everyone is in love with this guy. And I thought, well, 
I get it, because girls, how can you not love Jimin? It's just the Jimin effect. Second music video that I watched was fake love and it was a big shock. I thought, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening in this music video? It made me cry. Fake love is my song, it's my personal song. This is too much information. <laughs> then, of course, I wanted to see fake love live and I was just distracted <laughs> by Jungkook's abs. I mean, <laughs> we know. Being an army is beautiful. I know that this fandom is complicated, but it's not the army fandom, it's every fandom. I've been into so many fandoms through the years and it's just the same. It's not the fandom and it's not the artist, it's people. Of course, there's good people, bad people, trolls, crazy fans. They are everywhere, in every fandom. Just what being a fandom is, is just the essence of the fandom. Just saying that I love being an army. Being an army is beautiful. We love each other, we support each other, we are good to each other. Love my army family. I want to support them, I want to help them because they supported me and they helped me and I want to support BTS, I want to help them and I want to spread the love. They don't want to argue, I don't want to fuel the flames, I don't want to feed the trolls. I've had my good years of fandom wars and ship wars and it's it's over for me. Now I just want to be positive. Of, of course, I don't want other people to argue. I don't want other people to flame, to spread hate, to have a fandom wars. But I can tell people what to do. I can just be positive on my own and try to be positive with other people and what I can do. Because I love being an army and I want this fandom to stay positive. And I want to show my love for the guys in a positive way, in a healthy way, and in a safe way. Yeah, BTS, they mean the world to me. Because I'm sad that I wasn't there since the beginning, but at that time I wasn't ready. Last year I was ready and they came into my life the moment that I needed them. This is their special power. It was healthy. I was already on the journey through loving myself and respecting myself and doing what I like, what I love and what makes me feel good. There was just one piece of the puzzle missing and it was BTS. They, they really mean the world to me. Um, I know I'm getting emotional but there's there are some really personal things that I don't feel like talking about them now, not in public, so please excuse me, but this is what what's making me emotional now, because BTS really saved me. They, I'm not joking and I'm not exaggerating when I say that they mean the world to me, that they inspire me. And motivate, they motivate me, I'm sorry, every single day. They make you feel special, they make you feel like you are friends with them and they are always there to help you when you need them. I can't even remember what motivated me before BTS. They, I just wish to tell them and to show them how good they are, what a positive impact they have on our lives. They deserve to see that, to, to see the effect they have on people. I know I say it all the time, they really deserve it. And sometimes I think that they don't really understand how much they mean to, to us, to us individually. They are my friends. I know that we are not really friends, but they make me feel as if they are friends that, that I can count on when I need them. And they do. Because when I'm not feeling okay, when I don't really believe in myself, 
they are there telling me that they do believe in me that they have trust in me and that they love me and this is what helps me this is what makes me open my eyes every day my wish is to see them live at least once so i really hope that they come to italy next year i don't have enough money to see you in korea or in america this is my wish and it's i can do it my dream of course is to meet them and talk to them for a while and show them that they really can save lives that they really help people that they make you feel special and important and that you have your own place in this world and that you are worth it yeah i'm sorry i'm i'm really emotional but as i said um personal reasons <laughs> i'm sure i forgot a lot of stuff i wanted to say but it's okay i forget things all the time so happy anniversary to me i'll see you in my next video Bye.